Guilford hasn't had a winning season in football since 2013, but there's a very positive vibe surrounding the Vikings this year. Reagan Holgate explains why in our Football Two-A-Days preview. Tony Capriotti is coming into his second season as Guilford head coach more prepared and ready for the competition in the Nick 10. If you're a varsity team or any team in the Nick 10, you better be ready to play that night because I think there's a lot of teams that anybody could come out on top. But for the Vikings, the focus remains on what they can control and do to continue improving after last season's 2-7 and seven finish. For senior Davion Black, he can feel the intensity in practice. There's a different level of energy this year. I can't, I can't explain it because it's, it's just different. Yeah, different from the four years I've been here, so I like that. Davion is going to be one of the key impact players on both sides of the ball this season for Guilford. I'm just going to do what I have to at that running back position, linebacker, wherever I need to just, to just to win the game. The offense is rebounding after last season. A lot of the production this year will come from running backs Javon Jones and Jordan Woods. But if there is one thing to know about this team, do not sleep on the O-line. Coach Capriotti played as an offensive lineman, so it comes as no surprise. That unit led by Gannon Buckner and Orion Robinson is going to be dangerous. If I had to pick one group that I think will lead us, it'll be our, I think our linemen are definitely the strength of the team. Going up against the old line is scary this year. And the potential for future success is there. Over 100 kids are playing in the Guilford program this year, which is the largest group in nearly 10 years. As we get more kids involved, they talk to more kids, more families involved. Everybody's just more excited to be here. 